Okay, so my camera died, so <coughs> I charged up a little bit and I'm trying to create the, recreate the unboxing for you. Um, so, here we go. So I got this and I got a free straw clutch. I know you guys love these um, gift with purchase unboxings. So let's examine the gift. So this was a, I got this with a minimum of over $100 and this was $100. So I got the Miss Dior perfume. Um, I don't know why my extra samples didn't come. I think I was supposed to get extra samples. I picked two uh, fragrance samples that didn't make it. Um, but I'm more concerned about um, the free straw thing. So, okay, so let's take a look, good look at that. Oops. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So, it came folded. Here, I want you to get a good look because I know you guys are interested. It's going to take a little time to flatten out. Um, size wise, let's see how big it is. Um, so, this is a uh, B6, B6 size. So, it's about the width and it's a little bit taller than a B6. So let me just pull out a ruler um, to show you. I'll grab a ruler here. Okay, so it is about nine inches to about five and a half. So again, this is the free item that they got. I got with my purchase. The straw is lined on both sides. So it does have a zipper. The zipper does not go all the way, if that bothers you. Um, it is a straw clutch. It has a lining that has a cloth type linen-y feel, I guess. And it does have a zipper. What does it say here? It has some sort of... Is it a care instruction? I can't... It says Dior Beauty Inside. I think it has some sort of... <sighs> care instruction. Okay. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. So, it'll definitely fit a phone. And... I know that all of you know that you can kind of, um, you know, put a, you know, it has like a little hole here. So you can even put a wristlet through there. And this could easily be modded into a little purse. So, um, feel wise, it doesn't feel particularly expensive if I'm being honest. But if this kind of thing is your thing, it could be cute in the summer. All right, let me try to mod it. Let me see. Here is a chain I have from one of my coach purses. You can buy these chains also separately. So I think I really do appreciate that it has a zipper here. Excuse me. So... Let's say, how would, let's say, there is this little tiny hole here that I'm gonna shove this into. And then, let's see, I'm just going to clip this onto itself, I guess. Let me try that. 
And then let's say you. Okay. Look, that was like a really two second. That was really simple to mod. You're going to have to be careful when you open this. But hey, that mod was really simple, right? So you can, now you got like a little straw purse for the summer. Or you can double up, right? And you can have like a little, you know, like this. Or you can do like a shoulder purse situation. This mod is really easy, guys. Like, you can do a bamboo looking one. You could do any kind of modification, modification your imagination can come up with. It's kind of not laying flat though because I wouldn't say this feels particularly strong. It feels slightly plasticky. So this could fall apart on you, to be honest. Let's see. But if it's something you want to just use and not worry about um, how much it costs or something, it's a pretty easy mod. You could even put a little um, keychain on it and make it cuter. Okay, cool. So I hope that helps you um the code for this you could also do the same thing and make it into a wristlet you know what i mean you can get a smaller chain loop it through and then have it be kind of like a wristlet right you can kind of like do that number so that's a few ideas for you um you might have to lay it under something for it to lay flat but that's actually really cute and usable um it's it doesn't look so cheap or so bad that you can't actually take this out in the summer this is actually something you could use on occasion like let's say you're going to the beach or something and you don't want to have something expensive and damage it this could be a good free gift with purchase that is really great so um let me know if you have any questions. Oh, you, you do you want to see what fits? So let me grab let me grab some stuff. Let me see what fits. I don't think you want to overstuff this because, like I said, even though it is lined, it doesn't appear to be super strong. So I wouldn't overstuff it. Let me see. Let me try to put a few things in here. So from what I understand, this is my um, husband's phone, and it is comparable to an iPhone Max 13, iMac, iPhone 13 Max, I think. So that fits. Um, let's see, you had a wallet. Ooh, that's not gonna fit. Well, you could carry it, but it's not gonna snap. So I don't recommend anything bulky. Let's see. A pack of wipes. Okay, so basically you can put some essentials here. Where did my wallet go? Here is my small wallet. And you don't have, you have, mm, I don't, mm, would I call this a good amount of room? You have room, but I wouldn't say like good, it's very hard to say. You have an, an envelope <laughs> size amount of room. I personally would not suggest all of this, you know. Um, you can do a phone wallet, maybe lipstick, um, tissue, maybe something like that. So this is about how much space you get, okay. This is about how much space. There's no inner lining or inner uh, pocket or anything, which I think for a free item, like even the fact that it has lining and, and a zipper is actually pretty good. So when you have a phone, you can like put, let's say a card holder, let's grab a card holder. Okay, I've brought some small items. So <coughs> here is a very stuffed, 
card holder. So that will fit in there easily. And then Altoids, large can. So you can fit a lot of stuff in an Altoid can. I just recently tried it and you still have a tiny bit of room left over, but this should be enough for like any kind of sanitizer, pack of tissue or anything like that. So that's about how much room you have. You can zip this and also once it's full, it actually looks a little bit nicer because it's getting more plump, I guess. It looks less, um, it gives us less, less of a cheaper look, I guess. Um, so let's say you want it to do, I really like that it has a zipper because then you could just, it's not going to do a weird thing when you open it immediately. You can kind of, you know, when I'm talking about the chain, it's not just going to fall out immediately. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. So you can kind of do it as kind of like a wristlet situation, like I was saying. You can just get a, a smaller chain too. And you can kind of put this in the front as a you know. You can do it as a shoulder, and you can do it okay, I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point, but anyway, this is really cute. And I am happy that I got it as a free gift with purchase. I feel like Dior really does have like a lot of the best gift with purchases. Um, their thresh point I feel like is higher than other places but definitely more worth it. So if you are thinking about this, the code that I got, I missed it the first time around. It was um, for a Memorial Day weekend. And then they had some left over and they did a members only thing. So you have to be signed up to their points programs, which is free. Um, but then they sent a text and an email saying that you can get this, but you had to be a member um, on their site or whatever. You have to sign up for their rewards program. Um, and it would be uh, $100 and the code was long weekend. So... Um, I don't know if that still works, but like I said, if they have stuff left over, it seems like I definitely missed this the first time around, so I jumped on it as soon as I saw it the second time. So that really, so keep your eyes open. I will share the code if it still works. If you're not a member, you might have to sign up to be a member, but anyway, thanks so much, and let me know if you have any other questions. Okay, bye.